My name is Jess, and that's also my artist name. And music's always been a huge part of my life.、Um, even since I was a kid, I always remember playing instruments or having musical instrumental toys. And just every single movie I've watched, I feel like looking back now, I've been able to realize, oh, my appreciation for that movie was because I was just drawn to the the movie soundtrack, and it brought a lot to the story as well. So it's been. Yeah, it's always been a presence in my life, and it took me a long time to actually start pursuing music. Not until I guess I went to well, when I went to college back in two thousand and seven, I always took classes on the side music that are music classes. But it's always been main focus on degrees or careers that are more focused towards financial security or stability, and just far. Not attached to music at all, so not until two thousand twenty one did I finally just submit and realize like isn't this passion is not going anywhere and it's always eating at me that I'm not actually putting more effort into something that I really love. So I decided to go to school for it, and、um, after I graduated, it was a goal of mine to make a my first album. I figured like well, it's always been a struggle for me like no matter what I pursued. I always it was always in the back of my head. Well, I'm only doing this because then I could somehow find my way to pursuing music. It was just like a a weird, weird, huge detour, and I was like, this is not making any sense. Like I'm just I'm still everything I do is just so I could get to music instead of just actually directly pursuing it. And、um, at the same time, it's just like eating away at. I felt like it was just eating away at my soul because I'm just not happy.、Uh, what I've What I've been doing, and like,、um, even though I might be earning more money, life is not actually <laughs> happy, or I feel super stressed. And、um, yeah, I just all of that. I felt like it made me realize. Well, I mean, I could continue to pursue these、um, career-oriented kind of、uh, paths, but inside, I'm just not happy, and it, I, I just reflected every, every, in every aspect of my life, and and until. I actually started、uh, pursuing music. I finally felt like I'm I'm just living and being who I'm supposed to be this whole time, and I feel the most at peace or happiest. And you could,、uh, if I could only just, I mean, even physically, I feel like I look happier. <laughs>、um, so it's it reflects, I think, and、um, it's just confirmation that yeah, I'm I'm where I'm supposed to be, and just keep on. Keep on at it, and、uh, hopefully that message can resonate. And like that's a thing that I I wish like people can,、um, when they listen to that song, that they could feel that, and that's that hits a certain chord in their in their in their heart when they listen to it. Yeah, I mean, I'm still learning. I'm still at the beginning, so I can't say like automatically, immediately you're gonna see、um, everything come. Into fruition, it's just a matter of like trusting, and I feel like whenever I have that kind of feeling, like it just seems everything comes to、uh, manifestation. It's just trusting in yourself, and you know, you, there's a reason why you feel that certain pull. And for me, I've I've surrendered to the fact of focusing on money because I feel like that also has been the main huge factor of why it took me so long to come to this point in my life. Because if you always think about money, it's always gonna be Even a creative road, like give gonna give you a creative block, and I don't want that to keep me from doing what I love. So I mean, I hope to eventually make this a full time kind of thing that will make life self、uh, for me to be able to sustain、um, myself and not worry about it. But I'm not, you know, that's something that I have to keep in mind. Like I'm doing this because this is what I want to do, and that's that's that. I need to release it. I'm not gonna let. Any 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 of these distractions keep me from doing what my soul is telling me to do. So when I first wrote it,、um, I was just in my like the first time I was living by myself in my own apartment, and I didn't have any kind of recording equipment at that time, just my iPod.、Um, and like some of the songs actually started from the iPod, and like I didn't have any lyrics or anything. But with that song. Um, and I think that's why it's so unique compared to the rest. I always felt like,、um, like for me, I'm not really. I always felt like I'm not really that articulate and good with words, and that's why I've struggled with writing lyrics because, like, I just don't know how to, how to speak. <laughs> 
simple as that. And then, um, but I always felt like it was just something about that pull towards music and wanting to pursue it. And I can't escape no matter what. Uh, no matter what efforts I've tried to forget about it. So um, although the lyrics didn't come until 2021, um, yeah, I I always felt like that's that would be the message because that's what I was feeling when I wrote the song and whenever I would listen to it. <clears throat> but there isn't that many versions of it. It's probably maybe just, uh, yeah, when I finally started messing around with um, digital audio workstations, I added more layers and making it sound more uh, produced, whereas there it's, it's, you know, it's whatever you could do with an iPod, if you can imagine what you could do with a little iPod device, <laughs> it's not really much, but it's just a skeleton, skeleton version, it's like, oh, coming from that to where it is now, it, which, and still in my ears, it sounds like, yeah, it does sound like 2015, <laughs> or like a little outdated, but it is, um, yeah, it, uh, I don't know. It, it it amazes me of what you could do with the technology that's available for musicians now. And I feel like that's why that opened up um, for people to get more uh, comfortable of making their music because they have access to things like, like uh, Logic, which I use. Um, yeah. And actually there's been a couple of people who whenever I shared songs like and I it's like I and I mentioned to them I, I just need to put some lyrics down to it and then I could release but then they would say oh no you should just probably just release it as instrumentals um uh, which I mean I considered it at some point but it just felt like it wasn't enough like it was missing and like the lyrics needed to be um a part of the the story as well um, although like whenever I listen to it, I can feel it and know what it's about, but it doesn't mean, um, you know, any, uh, and the rest of the listeners will get that too. But, uh, yeah, I feel like the lyrics did definitely add much to, to that song or any of the songs in the album. Yeah. And I feel like uh, the big, um, what, what played into it is probably getting into therapy. <laughs> the only emotion I was comfortable with was anger. And like, I was felt the most comfortable expressing that, but anything else, vulnerability and everything in, in, in the album feels like it's a more vulnerable side of myself that I haven't been comfortable to express and once I started going to therapy the kind of the kind of release the blood gaze a little it was probably just journal entries uh trans translated into song form but I feel yeah I feel like it's a lot easier now for me to um put lyrics down to my songs because I just don't have that inhibition that I, I struggled with before and um before I just felt like I, I forced trying to come up with with lines that sounds cool but then there's no emotional attachment when it comes something from the heart it's just like you know it's it's natural it's just what's coming inside i mean there's only one band i feel like that really comes to mind and it probably was the first uh how i got introduced to the genre but cults i don't and i don't even know if they're really technically considered dream pop but they have that big sound very ambient atmospheric and I've always when I first heard them I was like that was a, probably the first time I've ever heard that type of music and I was just instantly drawn to it I like the big sounds and um almost sounds like ethereal or I, I don't know but I'm, I'm just drawn to it and also um yeah the reverb drenched every everything like lyrics too and to where you can't sometimes even understand them but you could still understand them because listening to the music you could just feel it um but yeah that is that is true there's not too much um it's not it's still not really a popular genre but um it's something that I always feel like I've, I've been drawn to and um yeah the fact that it uh, going to your comment about like the lyrics seeming intentional but in my mind it doesn't and that I feel like um when it comes to lyrics or song in, in the, the music in general, like I feel like it, it doesn't really belong to me. <laughs> like it, it almost feels like I'm inspired by whatever is happening and um, somehow comes into uh, fruition into a song. But it, every time I listen back to my songs, like I sometimes feel like, who wrote, <laughs> who wrote this? Like, <laughs> I don't even know where this is coming from. Like, 
I might be able to relate to it, but I was like, I don't understand how this came from me because I just, you know, I didn't sit in in front of um, my computer or start playing and like, I understand some people's writing process. They have the idea, and then they they just put record. But uh, but me, it's like it just happens and I, I kind of go off of whatever is happening and then like I'm figuring it out at as it happens or even sometimes at the end like when it comes to the lyric writing process like I don't even know what the song is about but I'll I, I realize it <laughs> until, the, until the end it's like oh okay um so that's why I feel like it's it's definitely not intentional because um I come to the end of it and then like and then I realize the meaning of it which yeah that's why i feel like it doesn't really belong very spiritual this is where i grew up so i feel like that's just what i'm familiar with and i feel like i'm always gonna be sort of like a small town kind of girl just having um feeling more comfortable in that environment because i've, I've lived in big cities uh, i live in honolulu i live in san francisco at one point in my life and i felt like um those were t like i loved as far as community goes, I felt like there was more a sense of community out in those cities um, in terms of just being able to hang out at, at like any time of the day or and be surrounded by people. And it feels more connected in that way, but not so much as like interpersonal connections and feeling connected to people. But being surrounded by people, it felt nice because like there was more things to do and just visibly seeing people we're out here it's you know we're all in our own homes and um they have their own events or whatever you could find your community it's uh however you want and it's up to you and the efforts you make to find those communities but um that is one thing i would say the difference about living in different parts of uh california or the u.s compared to here um but it's very i would say more family oriented which i i feel like that's been something that kind of um been reintroduced into my life or me uh forced me to kind of get into that because i've been kind of, ever since going to college it's just been more uh, more independent and kind of like focused on just just me but so um but it's yeah it's always been kind of a struggle finding my community and i feel like this is just a temporary pit stop to the next destination. And hopefully, you know, my, my goal is to actually, I'm not playing live shows yet, but that is my goal. And I know that's realistically not going to happen in out here in Bakersfield, although like I wouldn't mind <laughs> making it happen, but just finding, you know, the, the musicians who enjoy this music or play this music it's just uh, hasn't been happening out here, but uh, it's been great being here because I don't think I've been able, I would have been able to write the music in this type of environment because it's, it's like my escape where I could focus on my creativity and not be distracted from all the stresses of life. Like, I don't think it would have happened. Like even this, uh, the home studio, I would not have been able to do this in San Francisco. I would not even afford any of this. <laughs> So it's a it's been a blessing coming out here because I've been able to um actually pursue it because I because of the isolation. <laughs> so it was just all me. Um I mean there's other than just the, <laughs> the the instruments I mean that I did play with the synths and and the guitar like the drums I would just use drum tracks or samples because I don't play the drums. Um, well enough to be able to record um, but uh, yeah that it was just just me and recorded it all in, into uh, my DAW and I used Logic and um, uh, yeah it just happened I don't know I feel like um, it took that long also because I wasn't able to accumulate all the stuff I have now to make up this uh, music studio so all the equipment was also a factor of why it took so long um but uh in the upcoming stuff i've been working on i've been working with more other artists and collaborating which i've i've always wanted to do um and i feel like yeah creatively that opens a whole lot of 
freedom or, or more more ideas and it's not just constricted to just my uh my style so i like i like that um being more involved in collaborative project and other artists I don't, yeah freeing feeling of just being able to yeah like i said just like let yourself go in these creative expressions and i feel like me the fact that i just did this by myself was uh, a product of the frustrations of trying to work with other people but it just yeah not panning out or like the commitments weren't there and it's just like oh you know what i'm not gonna let this stop me i'm gonna do it anyway anyway and i'll find out a way to do it <laughs> although it might take a little more effort <laughs> but at least i can say this is just me and this is there's no other outside influence other than like the influence of music or what inspired me to write it but um yeah that's a great feeling to say like it, it i i did this myself Number one, Michael Jackson. He's always just been one of my favorite artists. He's one, uh, and um, Selena Quintanilla, the original Selena. Uh, I've always been a huge fan of her. And I've already seen Metric, but that, that's my favorite band right there. So it'll be coming out April 21st, um, but the newest single that's coming out from that album which is the last track, um, Hell is on the Way, Dear, is going to come out March 24th. 